Joining me now, Stephanie Grisham, former Trump White House Director of Communications and Press Secretary and former Chief of Staff and Press Secretary to former First Lady Melania Trump. Very good to see you again, Stephanie. Let's get into this. First of all, how do you think Trump reacted to the jury award behind the scenes? And what do you think is happening in his immediate orbit right now on this? I actually thought immediately I would not want to be anywhere near him when that when the the verdict came in or the award came in for E. Jean Carroll. I can't imagine how angry he was. Um, I kind of took to X about it and, and I was lighthearted saying we should keep the ketchup away from him because he's known for throwing things. But um, I, I would not want to be anywhere near him. And I did find it interesting that um, Alina Haba, his attorney, went out and went immediately to the press. And, you know, she was very upset, you could tell, but I think she was performing for one man because mm -hmm. I imagine that he's going to blame, you know, poor representation, in addition to, of course, blaming the judge and blaming the jury from New York. But the, I'm sure they're fundraising off of it now, today. Um, he's probably going to continue to whine about what a victim he is today. But behind the scenes, there's no way that he's happy about this. Oh, yeah. Blames everybody but himself. The fact that he was continuing to defame her, it, it really is illogical. But then again, we're talking about him. So he says that he was defending the honor of his family and the presidency. You were in the White House at that time. What do you say to that? Look, I mean, it, it's out of his playbook. He was... He was not defending himself in in that in in the most natural of terms. He was trying to undermine a woman that a jury found him liable for sexually abusing. So he was trying to undermine, as he always does, anybody who you know tries to stand up to him or tell the truth about him or fight him. He tried to undermine him, her. Excuse me. Um, that was a tough time in the White House. I recall sitting in the Oval Office with him. I wrote about this in my book, and we were talking about it about her. And of course, he was you know he was saying that he wouldn't he wouldn't touch her because she was so unattractive. It wasn't that you know oh I'm I'm a married man. I would never do that. I'm a good person. It was just how unattractive she was. And I rem recall him telling me, you know, all you do is deny in these situations, Stephanie. You just deny everything all the time, right? And I remember specifically feeling like that was a test for me because he stared me down when he <laughs> asked me that. Um, and he knew, of course, I'm very close, it was very close to Melania at the time. So that was uh, one of many different women who had allegations against him. And it was a it was a tough time in that White House just because of my relationship with Melania. Melania. Look, you, you mentioned her. Do you think that Melania was possibly his target audience in all of this, everything that he said, all the denials? I mean, is he speaking to a, a party of one in some ways? I think so. Um, it's my understanding that she has been really pressuring him to go out there and defend himself um, in this particular case. So I think absolutely that he's probably trying to defend himself with her, but also he's running for president. So he's wanting to make sure that, you know, he's using this to his advantage. And as I said earlier, fundraising off of it and uh, whining about how the system is, you know, so stacked against him. Mm -hmm. But let's face it, money is so important to him. Do you expect this sizable award is finally going to make him stop talking about E. Jean Carroll. Does, does he have the ability to rein himself in? He's got the ability to do it for, you know, a few hours or perhaps a few days. No, I, is my my short answer. I don't think that, that he'll be able to. I, you know, I, I think he's speaking today, so it's going to be interesting if he can keep his mouth closed about that. Um, he's certainly already said he's going to appeal. Uh, I would hope that his attorneys and that, you know, his family are all telling him, you need to stay quiet because it's my understanding that she can continue to just sue him again if she wants to. I don't know that I would want to put myself through that if I were her. But I the answer, short answer is no, I don't think he can. He cannot control himself. It's something that we've watched now for, you know, six years in, in the political world.